field line tactical bag from circa 2013 and I've had it used it a lot but I've always hated the color of it and so I'm gonna do what the pores do I'm gonna spray paint it with some rust-oleum OD green here because it's stupid to go and buy a completely same configurated bag from a company similar just because it's OD and pay all that money. I can spend five bucks on a can of Rust-Oleum or I can use the same bag that I've used for a long time and it's still in decent shape and just paint it. And if that's what the pores do, maybe that's how they get their optics. Maybe maybe they are smarter than the uh, tactical fanboys. You know, the uh, only the creme de la creme go to Wilson Combat, you know, that type of, type of dude. Gonna try to spray around. Spray around my freaking hook and loop. And I just directly sprayed it. But I'm already liking this a lot better. color change for his nylon here and this is just a uh, chemical barrel that I get for free 99 on occasion use them for uh, training stuff or, or whatever mm -hmm. Looks like a dang 5'11", folks. Looks like a freaking 5'11". Cabello's eat your heart out, man. That's what your granddaddy calls it, Cabello's. Even though Cabello sells. <laughs> sells field line tactical. That's what. And, uh, you know, since we're not worried about a, uh, shall we say, Freak free paint job here. We are just gonna give her the business. I'm not so much worried about the insides of the bag, just general area of the outsides. Just kind of. Might even help it hold off a little more water if it's got paint on it. I don't know. Get the sides of that unfolded. Unfold that and possibly paint at least the outer part. At least the part that's going to be super visible, which I'm just going to turn the camera off and do that. Ollie, go away. You little monster. That's what you are. Okay. So still finding little spots, especially after it dries. I'm gonna have to hit it. I've used a whole can on this and I'm gonna have to hit it. I'm not doing the inside. I'm just trying to get the outside done up. But, you know, avoiding the hook and loop and just spraying until I don't see the uh, Marpat Digital or whatever that was trying to be. I already like it a lot better, but I just don't see the point in buying an OD pack and spending 150 bucks for some 511 that is basically okay maybe a little bit better materials and stuff but this thing's held up for a long time it's a good pack i still use it all the time i just don't like the color so 
gonna hit it again on some some spots to finish up the job but it's just a way to save money you know tactical 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 crap for the pores spray paint your gear if you don't like the color of it you don't always have to go buy something new it's not like i don't know i, I guess going to the range with some people is a, about impressing and showing off your toys but if, if you want something functional just make it functional you know learn to be adaptive to stuff you don't always have to spend more money you know enough money to buy a, a an optic for your rifle on buying another bag for the color you know just go buy some freaking paint dude same with your plate carrier mag pouches whatever you know paint's not gonna hurt it it'll eventually loosen up some but it makes your uh your gear a little bit more stiff for a minute <laughs> we got the cops following a, a dude on a moped right now which is kind of ridiculous there's two police officers following the uh ridiculous dude on the moped oh, there's a police officer in the rear either way just saying find ways to uh not spend money on the stuff that really is just trivial and preferential stuff if you have something that works and save your money for crap that you really need like an optic for your gun more food stock something like that just my two cents on gear and saving money again for the pores